It's nine hours. Good day to you, my dear brothers and sisters. I welcome you all to our Eucharistic celebration. Today is March 13, Saturday of the second uh, week of Lent. Our Mass for today is also the Thanksgiving offering of Tatay Godoy and Nanay Medi Sandoval and Henry and Carrie Dizon and family. We bring to God the special intentions of all the members of the PGG service team, Aaron Moses Ebner, Amy Alcaide, Leia Ramos, Esther Siscar and Companions, Guillermo Santos, and Ron Abanes. We continue to pray for the complete healing and recovery of Vivencio Tolentino Sr., Lot Caraan, Rachel Ann Valino Sumpit, Virginia Santos Navarro, Cristina Alegre, Andrew San Venaventura, Malu Navarro, Ami Mekicek, Rosita Villanueva, Robin Jimenez and Ben Ripoll. Dear brothers and sisters, we cannot save ourselves by rites and practices. Sin is forgiven and lasting happiness found in an encounter of love with God. If we recognize that we are sinners, people who failed at times and who could do better, we recognize that our love is still very limited, and then there is room for growth. God bandages our wounds and raises us to life. He saves us from our failures. He makes us grow in the life of Christ. Let us now put ourselves in the presence of God as we welcome Him in His Word and in His body and blood. Our entrance antiphone. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and never forget all his benefits. It is he who forgives all our sins. We are gathered in the name of God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of the Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My dear friends, to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us now call to mind our sins. We ask the Lord for pardon and strength as we say, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have gravely sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Lord our God, you yourself remind us through your holy people that all our religious practices, even this Eucharistic sacrifice, are not worth anything if we use them to bend you our way. God, may we come to you in humility and repentance, ready to encounter you in love and to turn your way. Accept us as your sons and daughters, together with Jesus Christ, your Son and our Lord, forever and ever. 
Amen. Let us return to the Lord. It is He who has rent, but He will heal us. He has struck us, but He will bind our wounds. He will revive us after two days. On the third day, He will raise us up to live in His presence. Let us know. Let us strive to know the Lord. As certain as the dawn is His coming, and His judgment shines forth like the light of day. He will come to us like the rain, like spring rain that waters the earth. What can I do with you, Ephraim? What can I do with you, Judah? Your piety is like a morning cloud, like the dew that early passes away. For this reason I smote them through the prophets. I slew them by the words of my mouth. For it is love that I desire, not sacrifice and knowledge of God rather than burnt offerings. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. It is mercy I desire and not sacrifice. It, it is mercy, mercy I desire and, and not, not sacrifice. sacrifice. Have mercy on me, O God, in your goodness. In the greatness of your compassion, wipe out my offense. Thoroughly wash me from my guilt and of my sin Cleanse me. It is mercy that I desire and not sacrifice. For you are not pleased with sacrifices. Should I offer a burnt offering, you would not accept it. My sacrifice, O God, is a contrite spirit, a heart contrite and humble. O God, you will not spurn. It is mercy I desire and not sacrifice. Be bountiful, O Lord, to Zion in your kindness, by rebuilding the walls of Jerusalem. Then shall you be pleased with due sacrifices, burnt offerings, and holocausts. It is a, a desire and not, and not sacrifice. Please all rise to honor the Holy Gospel. Glory and praise to you, O Christ. Glory and praise to you, O Christ. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Glory and praise to you, O Christ. The Lord be with you. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Jesus addressed this parable to those who were convinced of their own righteousness and despised everyone else. Two people went up to the temple area to pray. One was a Pharisee and the other was a tax collector. The Pharisee took up his position and spoke this prayer to himself. O oh God, I thank you that I am not like the rest of humanity, greedy, dishonest, adulterous, or even like this tax collector. I fast twice a week and I pay tithes on my whole income. But the tax collector stood off a distance and would not even raise his eyes to heaven, but beat his breast and prayed, O God, be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you, the latter went home justified, not the former. For everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, and the one who humbles himself will be exalted. Friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, how do we pray? How do we come before the throne of God? What should be the proper disposition of the heart? What should be the proper clothing of our being when we come into prayer to our God? This is very, very important to us because not all who says, Lord, Lord, will be saved. Not all who are prayerful will really be given so much favor by God or look with, looked upon um, with favor by God. There should be a proper disposition of the heart, a proper clothing that we should be wearing whenever to come to God's presence. And I tell you, it is, for example, in the responsorial psalm, I, it is mercy I desire, not sacrifice 
Or he says, it is the love that I desire, not sacrifice, and knowledge of God rather than burnt offerings. In the first reading, we have heard from the book of the prophet Hosea how the people with beautiful words are encouraging each other to come to God. No? Having a, come, let us return to the Lord. He has uh, hurt us, but he is going to heal us also. He will revive us. No? And so let us strive to know the Lord. Let us strive to know the Lord. These are very beautiful in themselves, but definitely that, that is not what is happening. Because God, at the second part of the first reading, would say, What shall I do with you, Ephraim and Judah? Your piety is just like the clouds, or it's just like the dew. No? In the morning, it's all over, but a little after a few hours, when there is the heat of the sun, then it's all dried up. In other words, they are not consistent with what they are saying and what they are doing. During the Old Testament period, um, the... Um, injustices and abuses of, uh, of the brothers and sisters are very rampant and what is really in the heart is not really manifested really maybe in the mouth <laughs> and in the religious external manifestations of the faith maybe but not the heart brothers and sisters it is the heart that God looks into that's why it is the heart that should be opened when we come into prayer before the Lord. Let the Lord God look into that heart. Not so much with the external things that we do. These are probably helping us in coming to God, in bridging to God. But that should not be the end station of the activity. It is the heart that opens to God. That is where God um, sits and where God looks into. No? The gospel is presenting to us a parable of Jesus addressed to those who are convinced of their own righteousness but at the same time despising everyone else. So it's a parable about two persons who came to the temple, both probably considering themselves as sinners, but look at the difference in the way they pray. The first one, the Pharisee, is somehow, yeah, he's thanking God that he is not a sinner. In the sense that he is not, um, he is not dishonest. He is not adulterous. He is not greedy, just like any other people in the world, no. And he is doing practices like fasting two times a week and giving really tithes, which is just only ten percent of of the salary or the earnings. Very, very good, no. In fact, it's very good in that sense. The problem is this righteousness is the one that brought him into pride. The one who looks at himself um, highly at the expense of the other. You know? Parabang, he is as if competing with God, competing to God with, with the other person who are less than him, and reminding God of his goodness. You know? he, he exalts himself. Pero sabi nga dito, those who exalt themselves will be humbled by God. But look at the prayer of supposed to be the sinner, not the tax collector. He cannot even look up to God. And he was only at the back of the temple, so um, probably consumed by the fact that he is a sinner. And he is asking the mercy of God not to, to, to look upon him and to be merciful to him. No? Have mercy on us, on me, O Lord, a sinner. No? That is a very humble stance, looking at the goodness of God. And in the end, it was said that um, who went home justified is not the Pharisee, but the tax collector who is a sinner. Again, because of the opening of the heart. But the brothers and sisters, let us look at how we pray. Let us look at how we, okay, we have so many devotions um, that we do, novenas, praying the rosary. These are very important aspects for us Catholics. No? It connects us to God. Ang sinasabi lamang dito, we should not be content with that. That should not be the end station of the activity or that should be bring us already joy and we are content with that uh, because we're doing such kind of um, piety, pious acts. Maybe that's the first half. The second half is, hey, how do we look at our brothers and sisters? How do we deal with them? How do we treat those who need us? Kasi sa Panginoon, mahalaga pa rin ito, no? It's, it's always the end station is our opening our hearts to God, but also to our brothers and sisters, especially those who are in need. 
That is true religion. <laughs> true religion. True religion and true worship is this, that I take care of the, of the widows and the orphans. In other words, it is still the good works that should be the end station of all the prayers that we do. We connect to God, yes, that's very beautiful, but we should also be treating our brothers and sisters justly and helping them in their time of need. Hindi kailangan ang... Mahabang dasal, no? This is the accusation to the scribes and the Pharisees before, and and then even to be shown. I mean, you know, they they prayed at, at uh, corners of the streets so that people will see, no? And so yun din ang iingatan natin. Our religious and pious activities should not be a show. Siguro naman wala sa ating isipan yun. Pero probably we have the tendency, at sabi ko nga, we, we probably take pride already inside of us that we are praying much, that we are doing such kind of things, that we are always in the Sunday um, Masses. Again, that is good. Pero it should not bring us into self-righteousness. No? And it should not be a kind of telling God of your greatness at the expense of the weakness of other people. Alam naman ang Panginoon ko anong ginagawa mo. You don't have to remind God. You don't have to remind God as if you are, because it really can create self-righteousness. Ibig sabihin, ikaw yung nagsasabing tama ka, no? Ikaw yung nag-evaluate sa sarili mo that you are so up high there, nearer to God. Okay, but what is important is, sabi ko, is, it is the heart. Yung puso, yung puso ang importante sa Panginoon. Anong laman noon? Because in the heart, there is no hypocrisy, there is no hiding. We lay open everything to the Lord, and that is what God really wants of all of us. May our prayers and may our, our praying and our religious activities and pious acts really bring us closer to God and to our brothers and sisters. Not show, not hypocrisy. Amen. Taglay ang mga pusong nagsisisi at nagpapakumbaba. Humaharap tayo ngayon sa Diyos. Tumugon tayo ng tapat at nagpapakaabang panalangin sa mga kahilingan natin. Panginoon, dinggin mo ang aming panalangin. Panginoon, dinggin mo ang aming panalangin. Dinggin mo ang aming panalangin. Ang simbahan na way maging isang tiyak na kandungan para sa mga makasalanan at mga itinatakwil ng lipunan, manalangin tayo sa Panginoon. Panginoon, tingin mo ang aming panalangin. Ang mga naglilingkod sa bayan, naway magbigay ng higit na malasakit sa mga kababaihan, mga bata, mga ulila, mga matatanda at mga walang tahanan, manalangin tayo sa Panginoon. Panginoon, tingin mo ang aming panalangin. Ang mga mananampalataya, Naway magkaroon ng higit na malalim na pananalangin at pagsisisi, lalo na sa panahong ito ng kwaresma, manalangin tayo sa Panginoon. Panginoon, tingin mo ang aming panalangin. Ang mga may sakit, naway maranasan ang nakapagpapagaling na kapangyarihan ni Kristo upang mabigyan sila ng pag-asa, manalangin tayo sa Panginoon. Panginoon, tingin mo ang aming pananangin. Ang mga yumao, naway magtamasa ng liwanag, kaligayahan, at kapayapaan sa langit, manalangin tayo sa Panginoon. Panginoon, tingin mo ang aming pananangin. Sa katahimikan ng ating puso ay itaas natin sa Panginoon ang lahat ng mga pamisa ngayong araw na ito, gayon din ang ating mga pansariling kahilingan. Ama, tinutunghayan mo ang aming mga puso at nakikita mo ang aming mga pangangailangan. Ipagkaloob mo dahil sa iyong habag ang hinihiling namin sa aming mga panalangin. Sa pamamagitan ni Kristong aming Panginoon. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to offer. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever.
May the mingling of this water and wine bring us to the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us the cup of joy. Pray, my dear friends, that we and our sacrifice may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. For the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. Lord our God, we have not come together here to justify ourselves before you or to boast of our merits. We simply ask you, O Lord, to accept us as we are with our goodwill our lame efforts, and our half-hearted conversions. Accept us with the sacrifice of your Son, who stays with us and lives with you forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God, God of power, power and might, Lord, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At that time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. Let us now proclaim the mystery of our faith. We proclaim your death, death, O Lord, Lord and until, your until, until you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one, by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Christoph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, 
in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Jesus taught us to call God our Father, and so we have the courage to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, holy be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Lord Jesus, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our many sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. Friends, brothers and sisters, the peace of the Lord be with you always. We now offer one another the sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us your peace. Friends, this is Jesus, our God, in our midst, in the humble form of bread and wine. He is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are invited to receive him. Lord, I, I am not, not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and, and my soul shall be healed. The body and the blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Our prayer for spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacraments. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Our communion antiphone, the tax collector stood at a distance, beating his breast and saying, O God, be merciful to me, a sinner. Let us pray. Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, we have celebrated with your son the memorial of his sacrifice. Give us the strength now to make our everyday life into a living proof that we are one with him and that we follow him on the way through death to life. Let him stay with us, Jesus Christ, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Marami po salamat sa inyong pakikiisa sa ating misa ngayong araw na ito. Marami salamat lagi kay Brother Henry Dizon for helping us out. To Brother Paulo Perez and the parents, Brother Oji and Sister Emmy for the first reading. And to Sister Sheila Serrano with son Brother Christopher for the prayers of the faithful. Maraming pong salamat sa inyo. Tomorrow is Sunday. Kita-kita po tayo sa simbahan. Sa simbahan. 
So the 11 o'clock mass will also be live stream, but ang ganda, kung makakapunta rin tayo sa simbahan. 3.30, meron din po tayong misa in Tagalog, both in Kepler Platz Church, and at 5.30 in the afternoon in the Dono City Church. Kita-kita po tayo. Kita-kita tayo. The Lord be with you. May the good and loving Lord bless you always. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration is over. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord in one another. Thanks be to God. God.